Iron supplements are most often used for certain types of anemia. Anemia can cause fatigue. If you feel tired, pale, groggy, short of breath, have a fast heartbeat, dizziness, headache, feel cold, including the sensation that your feet and hands are colder than usual, craving for unusual things or have infections caused by problems with the immune system, you might want to look to check if you're iron deficient. In today's video, I'm going to break down everything you need to know about taking iron. The recommended dosages, how to increase absorption, how to choose an iron supplement and my top three picks for the best iron brands I found on the internet with the best prices. At the end of this video, I'll also go through the risk and side effects of iron supplements that should be considered, so make sure to stick until the end. Hi, I'm Christiana. I'm a health coach specializing in nutrition and fitness and welcome to the Health Lab Reviews. I put in hours of my own research and made this list based on their quality, durability, user opinions, third-party testing and more. Now, if you're in a rush and just want to know the best all-rounder with the best absorption rate, I found that the iron capture from Futurekind is the best for deficiencies that get easily absorbed by the body. Futurekind uses a non-GMO patented chelated form of iron which combined with vitamin C gets more effectively absorbed than other types. I'll get into more details in just a second, but if you want to find out more about this product right now, I included the link to the best price that I found on the internet in the description box below. You'll even get a 60-day money-back guarantee if you order it through my discount link from their store, so make sure to check it out. Now, if this video helps, please click, click, click like and subscribe for more reviews on health supplements in the future. Let's get into it. The recommended daily allowance of iron is a generalized recommendation to fit most people. However, the daily amount of iron needed ultimately depends on age, sex, health conditions and diet. As a guideline, adult women need 80 milligrams of iron and adult men need 8 milligrams of iron per day. Women who have entered menopause only need approximately 8 milligrams of iron per day. The recommended amount can be higher for women of childbearing years, especially those who are pregnant or have a heavy menstrual cycle, as well as for professional athletes who lose significant iron through sweat. The supplements I'll be showing you in a few moments contain between 18 to 25 milligrams per capsule. Now, how to increase iron absorption for maximum effects. Typically, it is best to take them on an empty stomach and with water around one to two hours before a meal. The body can absorb iron more easily when it has enough vitamin C. Therefore, some people may take iron supplements that are mixed with vitamin C or consume orange juice alongside their iron supplements. Vitamin A and beta-carotene help with a better absorption too. These vitamins can be found in carrots, sweet potatoes, spinach, kale and apricot. However, you should avoid taking iron supplements with calcium supplements, antacids and beverages such as coffee, tea or milk as they may interfere with iron absorption. When choosing an iron supplement, there are four factors to take into account. First and foremost, the most optimal source is iron bisglycinate. Secondly, take a look for added nutrients that may promote iron absorption, like vitamin C, or impair it, like calcium. Number three, some people may experience digestive discomfort when taking iron supplements. Choosing iron supplements that are fermented or designed to aid digestion may help ease or prevent this discomfort. Last but not least, number four, check for brands that use third-party quality testing. And here are our top three picks for iron supplements. For the best overall with the cleanest ingredients and best absorption rate, we chose Futurekind. Many inferior forms of iron break apart in the gastrointestinal tract, reducing the amount of iron absorbed, which can result in nausea, indigestion and constipation. And Futurekind solves this problem. One pack contains 30 capsules with one capsule to take per day, which means this pack will last you for at least a month. They use a non-GMO patented chelated form of iron. Combined with the whole food vitamin C from cherries, this iron supplement has been shown to be more effectively absorbed than other types. Futurekind is 100% vegan, third-party lab tested, FDA regulated and GMP certified. 
I made sure to get an amazing discount for you and I included the link down below in the description box. You'll also get a 60 day money back guarantee if you order it from their store. For the best budget iron supplement, we chose Take Care Of. Take Care Of is a personalized subscription vitamin service that allows you to take a quiz to personalize the vitamins and supplements you receive. One pack contains 30 capsules with one capsule to take per day, which means this pack will last you for at least a month as well. The capsule contains 80 milligrams of iron as furs fumarate, which is the fermented version of iron to prevent digestive discomfort due to its slow release rate. And it also contains vitamin C to support iron absorption. The supplement is also vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO and formulated with vitamin C for easy absorption. For the best iron supplement for athletes, we chose Thorn Research. As one of the most reputable supplement brands, Thorn Iron was sure to be found on this list. One pack contains 60 capsules with one capsule per serving. Thorn's Iron provides 25 milligrams of elemental iron per capsule. Although it doesn't include vitamin C, it has been reacted with glycine for optimal absorption in the gastrointestinal tract. The product is also NSF certified for sport, meaning that it's free of prohibited substances per most sports organizations, making it safe for athletes. As said before, I included the discount links with the best prices down below, so make sure to check them out. Now, let's quickly go over what the risks and side effects of taking iron possibly are. It is unlikely that taking iron supplements will lead to any unwanted health effects unless you are ingesting more than the daily recommended intake of iron. Some people's bodies may initially have difficulty dealing with the changes in dietary iron, which could lead to nausea, constipation, gas or diarrhea. However, it is possible for an individual to have too much dye iron in their body. This can lead to conditions such as iron overload, disorder and iron poisoning. Iron overdose is a common cause of poisoning in children, which can be fatal. So don't start taking iron supplements unless your healthcare provider tells you that you need them. If you have any other questions about iron or these products, have any experience you'd like to share or wanna see other supplements, let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like and subscribe for more videos on health reviews. I'll see you next time, bye.